Day 2 of Section 7.4. I only have two examples for these types of problems. This should help you with page 369, number 32 through 36. All right, find the value of k so that the remainder of the problem is 5. So if the remainder is 5, we want to highlight that so we don't forget that. All right, so let's use synthetic division. We'll put 7 in the box. Coefficients are 2, negative 8, and k. Underneath the k is the remainder box, and the remainder is 5, so we need to put 5 here. Bring the 2 down for synthetic division. 7 times 2 is 14. Negative 8 plus 14 is 6. 7 times 6 is 42. Now we add going down. So k plus 42 is equal to 5. Solve for k, subtract 42. So k equals negative 37. So all you're going to do is put k in the problem wherever they tell you to and do your normal synthetic division. So now when you put k in this last spot, that's pretty easy. If we move k farther up, it gets a little bit more difficult. So we'll look at example two. In this problem, they actually put k in the box. So this would be actually negative k because we take the opposite sign. Coefficients are 1, 2, and 6. And the remainder in the problem from up above is 5. So we know that we can put that 5 in there. So we bring down the 1. Okay, so we multiply. Negative k times 1 is negative k. Now we add. That would be 2 minus k. Now we multiply. Negative k times 2 is negative 2k. And negative k times negative k is plus k squared. So you're just distributing that. Now we're going to add to equal 5. So we have 6 plus negative 2k plus k squared equals 5. And immediately we should notice we have a squared term. So that's a quadratic. We're going to have to either use the quadratic formula or factoring. To do that we need this to be equal to 0. So I'm going to reorganize and subtract 5. So I'm going to have k squared minus 2k, 6 minus 5 would be plus 1. That will factor to k minus 1 times k minus 1 equals 0, so k must be 1.